okay. round, you'll take two more. Okay. So you take nine, and now you got to make a saving throw uh, at the end of your turn. So, all right. Okay. Next up is dirt. Okay, so I am going to shoot my bow at this little sucker right here on top of the rock. Should have played a ranger. <laughs> Kadojo, Kadojo, do you know that we're playing oh Pathfinder God, tomorrow crazy. afternoon? Holy crap. Did you get my uh, that, message that on Roll Twenty? Now that's definitely a pretty bad miss, actually, Dirt. Yeah. That that's yeah, that's a that's a really bad miss. And you guys are noticing pulling this bow out. Usually, usually you guys notice that Dirt's the first one to charge in, but you're noticing he's got this new toy and he's just kind of hanging <laughs> back with you guys now. Talendros, <laughs> you're up now. Okay. All right, cool. So you can make it at 6 p.m. Eastern, Kadojo. Yeah. We're gonna play a long session tomorrow, if you don't mind, sir. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna fit. Hey, at least you're uh, at least uh, you're not gonna miss anything, Kadojo. That's a good thing. Okay, I'll just go with an arc lightning shot. Retaliating against the cobalt that threw that goddamn fire <laughs> rock at me. Not even a fireball, a fire rock. I knew you'd like that's the only one he had of that, so I knew you'd like that. Bastard. I'm yeah, hit he loves him. it. I know he does. <laughs> well, actually, he does have another fire pot. <clears throat> Uh, we can talk if you need to. Uh, a sixteen versus what? Reflex. Uh, that's a hit. Actually, nope. Actually, no, it's not. Nope, that is not a hit. That's barely a miss, though. Uh, Sorry about that. So go ahead. You want to make any movements or anything? No, no. Okay, so go ahead and take your uh, take two fire damage and to make your saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> that massive two two points of damage. Hey, that's a lot for me. Oh yeah, great. That's you're still bad. burning. You're you're still burning. That's why I like those little effects. All right, so we have another minion getting involved here. I'm going to rack up my double movements and I'm going to pound through this bush. That did not sound good. <laughs> Does he have a pair of clippers on him? Okay, that is my 12 movement. That's double. I can't do anything. Alright, so now this shield bearer down here is going to move. He's going to attack Boris. Uh, that is an 18 versus armor class. Yeah, that is. Okay. Uh, there we go. Boris takes a total of uh, 10 damage. Oh, nope. He takes a total of 7 damage. I'm sorry. And he is now marked. So, he is marked. I'm going to go ahead marked, and... Huh? Mm -hmm, he is marked. Mm -hmm. wow. Yep, he is marked. Alright, next is Vey. Yeah, these are a little bit tougher kobolds than what you guys uh, fought the first couple times. I'm going to turn to Talindros and pull out my water skin and start to pour it all over him to put out the fire. Okay. So I will go ahead and give him a bonus. I'll let you do that as your uh, as a minor action. I'll let you do that as a minor. And for his next saving throw, I'm going to give him a bonus. That's how that's how we'll work that. So it'll be sort of like a like you're assisting. 
like in a skill challenge or a skill check or something. So that, yeah, that'll work out pretty good. All right, for my standard action, I'm going to have Boris attack the smaller kobold right there in front of me. Okay. Oh, yeah, he grew a little bit. He uh. <laughs> That's he, my stuff. He, he, for he, he grew a little bit. All right, go ahead and take your your penalty as well. All right, look, that is a miss versus armor class. Any movements or anything? Would you like to take uh, several opportunity attacks? What's the mark now? Uh, it's minus two to attack. Okay. No, we'll stay here. Okay. That's it. All right. So this kobold down here, uh, he launched his spear last time. Uh, so he is going to engage. Two, three, four, five, six. Wow, Vey, you got a couple around you. And now he's going to attack. But it's okay, he will probably miss anyway. Yep, not this time. 24 versus armor class. Okay, that hits. Uh, wow, you actually take 11 more damage. And... Your channel. I'm gonna stay there. I'm not gonna kobold. I'm not gonna use my kobold tactics. So, I'm gonna stay there on that. Alright, looks like Lormar, you're up now, sir. You have a minion in your presence uh, that is adjacent from you. And you hear a lot going on Vey's way, Vey and Talundris's way. Oh yeah! Reaper's Race said you should dosh him with your uh, bucket of endless ale. But it wouldn't come out though, because you actually have to have contact with your mouth, you know? I have to drink it and spit it on him. <laughs> Log jamming. <laughs> I love, I love that. it. Oh my god! I played that in the in the game the other night. Uh, you here? You need a plumber. <laughs> <laughs> Sixteen versus armor class. Are, are you talk? Uh, you're attacking the minion that is directly adjacent from you, right? Yes. Okay, that is a miss versus armor class. Sixteen. Okay. Do you have any bonuses or anything like that, or? No. Okay. And then as my my oh sh no go ahead do do whatever you need to do. You got a minor in movement still. I'd love to give you an opportunity attack. These kobolds um, guys are much action. harder. I'll do healing word on Bay. Than level one kobolds. I've actually modified these and thrown a couple more gimmicks into the uh, into these kobolds. So they're actually much tougher. This is basically an ambush, and these are these are actually yeah, kobolds. These are kobolds that are in cahoots with the kobolds that were back in Fallcrest as well. So, but they'll find that out at the end after the combat. All right, so you're done, Lormar. Yep, that's it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and move up this three, four, five. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and attack Lormar. Wow, a crit! Really, there's there's no crit damage because it's a minion, so you just take seven damage. He does hit you pretty good. Gets good contact in on you. Contact. All right. Next up, attacks Lormar again. 26 versus armor class, and you take another 7 damage from being hit. These kobolds are actually pretty tough, aren't they? Alright, next up is... I'm going to do kobold tactics. 
I'm going to shift one I'm going to get combat advantage on Ve and I'm going to attack Uh, that's a 20 versus armor class. Well, I'm slamming the rolls tonight. The other night, I couldn't I couldn't get a roll to save my life. Uh, is a 20 versus armor class? Is that a hit? That just does hit. Okay. Uh, you take minimum damage of 7. And Hex, you're up, sir. You guys need to start uh, taking some of these guys down. Those little minions oh. are pretty tough. Well, what if I can hit one? Yeah. I'm going to move here. I do have the range, and I can hit that guy with an elaborate bolt. Okay. So you're going to... Okay, you're going to do the slinger. That's a hit versus a reflex, I would take it, okay. right? Yeah, uh, that is actually versus... Yeah, reflex. For okay. some reason, I, I thought it was versus AC. Yeah, go ahead and do your uh, do your damage. Does fifteen hit it? Does fifteen hurt it? Uh, fifteen definitely hurts it. Yeah, as your your bolt hits it, kind of splits the skin. And he starts to bleed, so he is officially bloodied. All right, next up is the actual slinger himself. Uh, so you've actually got his attention now, Hex. Okay. And he's going to attack you. Uh, Twenty-three versus armor class. So that could be a hit, sir. Okay, uh, you take no damage. Uh, actually, yes, you do. I'm sorry. Uh, you take a total of nine damage, and now you are immobilized. You can still attack while you're immobilized. Uh, you just uh, you're immobilized until save ends. So we're gonna we're gonna put the immobilized. That's the the glue pot that uh, old. Uh, Talundris doesn't like. Alright, so that's it from the before, Slingman. Before he ends his turn, I'm going to go, kill the Slinger! <laughs> well, he doesn't have any more glue pots, I'll tell you that. So he's, he's still got one more pot. So, Alright, Dirt, you're up now, sir. Kill something. Okay. Kill something, you guys. <laughs> I mean, Jesus. Um, well, if Dirt so puts down his bow and starts swinging for once... <laughs> Actually, Looks like my, I'm starting a cobalt farm my, over here. I was trying to kill that guy up on the rock because I figured he'd be our biggest problem. And it, my bow actually does good damage, so. Uh, let's see. Actually, my bow does more damage than my sword. So, um, I am going to... If I take out my sword, Dave, does that take my uh, action? It takes, a, I believe it's a minor action, isn't it? I think it's a move action. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's one of the, the minor actions. Let's, uh, let's look at that real quick there, Dirt. Should be on your sheet under actions in combat. Is Dirt going to fire his sword from his bow? So basically, you're gonna, your free action is going to be dropping your bow. Right? Right. Alright. So you can... Let's see... Equip or stow a shield is an action. You're not doing that. Well, yeah, you are actually, because you're you're grabbing your shield and your weapon. So, retrieve or stow an item is a minor action. So, so basically, your entire round is going to be drawing your sword and getting your shield out and dropping your your bow. That's basically uh, what you can do this round. Alright, uh, plus I could add 
Defender Aura, right? That's an at-will. That's a free, right? Or is yeah. that... Is it free action, or...? Um, well, I'll tell you in a second. Uh, Defender Aura is it's a minor. A minor action. Yeah, yeah, you can't do it. Not until next round. So, All right. Because well, you basically go used ahead. everything. All right. No, I, I'm, I'm not going <clears> to do that then. I'll go ahead and uh, shoot my bow and try to finish off this guy on top of the rock. Well, I thought you said you you equipped your weapon, didn't you say that? Okay, all right, well, I equipped my weapon then. All right, so that's all my actions. Yeah, you, you, you basically okay. drop your bow, you equip your weapon, you pull out your shield, and that's basically what, what you could do. Okay. All right, Talindris. I'm actually going to use a shock uh, sphere. That was a nice use. try. <laughs> well, I'm just going to go ahead and shoot. <laughs> Casting it on this square right here. That was pretty good. That's Where at? Off. Oh, uh, okay, down here. Gotcha. So it's a burst two within ten squares. So it should hit all three of these kobolds right here. Well, first I turn gotcha. around to do it. Okay, so you're you're putting it right here, correct? Yeah. Okay, so you're eliminating any contact with the party. Exactly. Okay, and what is this What is this called again? Shock Sphere. Ooh. Ooh, that's your new encounter, I think, isn't it? That's right. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Alright, so it looks like a... It's a and it, what is it? Versus Reflex? That's right. Probably your right. Ant versus Reflex or something like that. Yep. Do you want to roll one attack or do you want to roll three attacks? I'll let you. Uh, let's do three. Okay. First one on the left. All right. Sixteen reflex. Crit. Okay. Go ahead and max damage. What is it? A two d six or one d six attack? Two d six plus seven. Okay. So twelve. Plus seven, nineteen, and go ahead and do a D six for additional damage. Four. Wow, twenty three damage. That's uh pretty nice. Yeah, you notice that uh that the shock fear from all you know, the the shock wave from the actual ground coming up and everything had actually a lot of the cobblestones come out of the dirt and actually cut them up pretty bad, so uh, he is now officially bloodied. All right, go ahead and roll the attack uh, on the two uh, beside it. Middle one first. Okay. That's first reflex as well, correct? Yes. That is a miss. Okay. Okay, so uh, go ahead and miss do half damage. Half, yeah. So just 2d6 plus int and I'll... Alright, so seven. 7 damage. Uh, he goes down. Alright, next. Okay, and the last one... 22 verse reflex. That's a hit and he's dead as well. Who says mages aren't powerful? Nice shot, man. Never said that. No, I know but nobody said that. They're, uh, but they are strong. squishy. Right. No, they are very squishy. All right. Nice job, Talundral. Talundrus. <laughs> Talundral. Anything else for you? Movement? I'd love for you to take a movement, actually. You could take an opportunity <laughs> attack. Oh, yeah. A no, free I'll one. I'll just take my, take my two damage and try to roll to get out of this burn. Okay. Okay. Add a uh, plus four for the water as well. 18. Nice. You are you are able to put yourself out actually. Ah, 
so the refreshing. the water helped uh, <laughs> pretty good. Next up, dead kobold. Uh, let's see, this kobold here to the left actually is up. Uh, he is going to attack Boris's uh, still. I will not get my mob attack bonus now that all my uh, companions are, are dead. So, uh, and the, the attack versus Boris is a 17 versus armor class. That just it. Okay. Boris takes 10 more damage, and I'm going to shift with Goblin Tactics. Back one. Alright, so it looks like Vey, you're back up now. Thanks again, uh, thanks again, everyone, for the follows, Sonata. Truly appreciate it. And I turn and attack this guy here behind me. Twenty-one versus armor class is definitely a hit. For the guy behind you. Four twenty-five. Okay. Sanders rip rap. All right, got it. And for my minor, I'm going to pass the heal on dirt. Okay. I don't need a heal. Whoever, somebody else does. Good. It's and probably Lormar. Yeah. Yeah. So Lormar, was it for? Uh, yeah, I, I would say it probably oh, was, was for. Oh, was it there? Sorry. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you get a whoever has the least hit points there in the corner. Surge plus one. Is it Sanders? Nice. All right. Next up is the dead minion. Done. Lormar, you're up now, sir. Oh, actually, Dave, because I just used the healing surge, do I get to use my feet? And what would that feat be? Uh, it says whenever you spend a healing surge while bloodied, each ally within five squares of you gains three temp hit points. Were you bloodied? Yes. When you took, yep. Then everybody within what? One within adjacent five square? Squares, five squares? Everyone. Wow, holy cow, that's pretty nice. Very nice. Three temp HP. I like that. Wow, Sanders is up at uh, 425. And it's going to be normal cornbread, guys. I'm not. I'm not going to put the cheese in the jalapeno, simply because I don't want right, the cornbread to be ruined when you get it. This so one it'll with, still be uh, good sunburst. cornbread. Okay. It'll be a a very good semi-sweet cornbread. I healed you while you were bloodied. Yeah, because I was bloodied. Oh, well, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> <laughs> let him. Let him. I like the mechanics like that. You know, like the save versus ends, two points of damage per round, and, you know, the, the reactionary type of things like temporary hit points. It's so good. I like this addition. All right, 18 versus uh, armor class. You're attacking the minion. I'm sorry. I was just uh, flooning over D&D 4th edition. Uh, it is a hit. That's exactly what you needed. So that is 10 radiant damage. Uh, and you attack this one here, right? No, this one. The bottom one. Okay, yeah. Irregardless, he, uh, he dies. And everyone gets five more temporary hit points. Whoa! How did that happen, good sir? That's my trusty sunburst. I like that. Alright, so we're back up to uh, this kobold, which is, he's seen all of his all of his uh, counterparts basically go down in this last round, but he's gonna, he's gonna attack me regardless, I mean, nonetheless, he's gonna attack. 
Uh, that's a 10 versus armor class. He is pretty much screwed on that. Uh, Vey, you're being attacked again. For a 15 versus armor class, which I'm pretty sure that's a miss. Yep. Hex, you're back up. I'm going to blast the speed with another electric bolt. Okay. Well, you guys that's were, uh, a that's a hit versus 20? reflex. So, yeah, that's a hit. Go ahead and do your damage. 20? Uh, he goes down. Yeah, this this thing just basically implodes from the innards and... All you see is fireworks and blood and guts. Make it rain. It's sort of like what happened on Total Recall with his head, how he just goes... And then his head explodes. So That's Make basically rain, just dude. what happened. It is raining. It's raining a cobalt reptilian square... Uh, scales now. Alright, looks like Hex is done. Uh, this cobalt is dead. Dirt, you're back up. Thanks for joining the fight today, Dirt. <laughs> couple couple cobalts left. And I will advance on this one here. Alright, I'll let you be there. You had plenty of movement to, to stay there anyway, so go for it. And I'll attack this one with my long sword. Okay. Yep, just as a reminder, you guys, if you guys go through any kind of... Ooh, why is Boris dead? Boris isn't dead, is he? Yep. Oh, I'm sorry. He only yeah. has 17 hit points. He's not that tough. Oh, so his hit points... Oh, his hit points won't go up until you get the upgraded spirit, right? Something like that? Mm. Or will it's it always stay that way? He, he will always have my bloodied Ah, uh, it'll go up over time. Yeah, every level it'll go up a little. Well, that's not too bad. Dirt, that's a hit, sir. Go ahead and roll that damage because you're probably going to kill him anyway. And uh, nine damage. Oh yeah, he d you definitely decapitate this guy. He tries to block the he tries to block the blow of your life drinker sword, and basically you just decapitate him. Cuts to his spear. Now, what are you forgetting to do now? Huh? 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 I'm not forgetting nothing. Everybody gets temporary hit points, right? Is it is I think it's just is it you? I think with your life drinker uh, sword. Let me check it really quick. When you, yeah, when you drop an enemy to zero HP with a melee yeah. attack made, with this weapon, you gain five more temp five HP. Temporary. Holy crap! So you're at a... Wow, you're well over ten. Boy, I'm screwed now. Boy, those temp pinpoints are really nice. Holy crap. So, Lundras, you're up now. You only see a couple more targets, so... Actually... Oh, yeah, there's, there's the other one. And the kobolds were doing so good, but the yeah, party just now he's bloodied. Oh, did he move? Yeah, I used my kobold tactics and I oh, uh, okay. and I moved back one square. Am I able to <coughs> discern between which ones are minion types and not minion types? No, you are not. I can tell, okay. but I, no. I, know, I was just trying to see. <laughs> That that's a good try though. I that was that was pretty good. I like that. All right. Well, anyway, I'm just gonna I'm gonna blast this guy with the burning hands in front of me. Okay. The one uh, directly south. The guy that's bloodied already. No, the one on the uh, on the right. Okay. But it's a cl it's a close blast of five. So I'd have to aim it. Like. Here to not hit V. A blast, a blast would go this way. Yeah, if you did a blast right here, it would go there, there, and then what is it? A blast three? You said five. Oh yeah, it would go up five squares and over to the right five squares, or to the left, whatever way you want the blast to go. But all right, well, yeah. 
I'll do that and I'll make sure that this guy is hit in it. So that is intelligence versus reflex. 